All right, oldest whiskey we've reviewed on the channel so far, 20 year old Caden Head Creations Sherry Finish. Hey, 20 year old head, let's go for it. Let's do it. Welcome back to Brolic Whiskey. I am MetaHuman Dave. And uh, Mike here, ready for this old stuff. It is old. This and is old stuff. We have someone to thank for this. At the last whiskey meetup, one of our friends from the meetup surprised all of us. None of us were expecting gifts, and he wasn't even at the meetup, and he just gifted all of us a bunch of stuff. This was my gift, so thank you, Richie Gabriel, for Cadenhead, 20-year-old. It's rich, fruity, sherry, Cadenhead Creations. So he'll do the Santa Claus thing. He just drops in, leaves you a bag of goodies, and leaves, huh? Ho, ho. Santa's coming to town! Santa! Oh my God! Wow. Oh, all right. Well, Richie, thank you. Uh, you gave me a beautiful color. <laughs> uh, natural coloring, no less. Really? Non-chill filter, nothing added to it. This is as the juice was intended to be tasted. So the sherry really took to this one, huh? Oh, yeah, and I'll get into and that in a little bit about why. How about the, uh, the floaties? Floaties? Um, oh. I don't know about that. Maybe it's because of the... Uh, non-chill filtering maybe some stuff just didn't uh get filtered out because uh i know a lot of people would assume it's the cork but the cork looks like it's in perfect shape it doesn't yeah. look like there's any disintegration there but yes you definitely smell that sherry yeah sherry it's and sweet. apples that's what i get sherry and apples yep so wow that's what, pleasant a little bit about this one is uh Cadenhead is Scotland's longest running independent bottler. So they don't they don't distill, okay. they bottle other stuff. Sometimes they'll buy single casts and just put it out under their own name. Or in this case, they blended a few different things, put their own little spin on it. What do you think? A little bit sharp on the front. Um, I get a lot of the alcohol. The back end's the sweetness. And it has a very short finish. Short finish, huh? I, well, no. I mean, it kind of clings. It's, yeah. It's staying. It's not like a peat cling, but yeah, it's got some good amount of oiliness to it. No, it's getting sweeter. It definitely sweetens on the back end. It's it stays a little while. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is made up of four different whiskeys. Kind of nice. Um, malts from Brooklady, which okay. your favorite whiskey was from Brooklady. Mm -hmm. Well. I and uh, Mortlock, Mortlock Rare Old that we've reviewed. Okay. So malt from both of those. And then grains from Cameron Bridge and Invergordon. Then they married that all together mm. in a sherry cask. Such a rich color. I can see that now. All right, well, um, let's break out the honesty. All right. For being 20 years old, I really don't taste it as being an old whiskey. It doesn't. It doesn't surprise me. It doesn't give me that that age depth. It You're, tastes. It tastes it, young. Yeah, with a with a old whiskey that's twenty years old, you you oftentimes expect uh, terms like tobacco or leather okay. or woodsy or oaky, and um, I'm with you on that. I don't get a lot of that dusty, musty yeah. smell or taste. Um, it's very sherry, like. Like every time you think the sherry's going away, you get a different part of the sherry. Yeah, no, it. it but is. I don't get any of the wood. Okay. Yeah, I don't really taste any of the wood at all. Um, yeah, I don't know. Twenty years old. This is probably my first twenty year old. I don't know. Maybe at the uh, whiskey thing we went to, there was more. But I don't really get a sense that this is an old whiskey. If I didn't, if you didn't tell me, I would have thought it was young. I'm kind of with you. Yeah. It seems like it's at least half the age that it that they say it is it's 46 percent abv so it's it's at that sweet spot that i normally yeah. say that's where i think most whiskey should be okay. at a minimum i can definitely taste the alcohol in it um I, I would i would throw this at a uh i don't know i'd probably throw it at a five five okay yeah a little lower than um than i'm gonna throw at it um i'm gonna say it's just barely under a seven so like a 6.9 okay. um it's right. good it is good 
It's uh, it might be the most heavily sherry thing I've ever had. As we move on to putting a couple of drops of water into it, I'll tell you why we get so much sherry out of this. So, like I mentioned, Brucolati is part of this. It's a 1993 malt that was in a hogshead. Mortlock 1992 Sherry Butt. Cameron Bridge 1989 Hogshead. And Invergordon 1991 Sherry Hogshead. So we're getting a lot of older malts and grains. Some of them are finished in Sherry Hogshead, Sherry Butts. And are we still talking about whiskey? We are. We are. This really sounds like barbecue. <laughs> um, What's this hogshead and butt thing you're talking so about? So, hogshead is, is a barrel that's slightly bigger than than your standard barrels. Like what we would think of here in the U.S. Yeah, so if we're looking at like a 53-gallon wine barrel or something like that, um, a hogshead's usually a, a little bit bigger. There's no exact science this because every cool bridge makes their own sizes but let's say maybe it's a 60 gallon barrel gotcha. okay. then a butt is almost twice the size of a oh. of a regular 53 gallon a butt is a very big barrel um but if you notice that means that the oldest thing in here is actually from 1989 okay so now is that your 20 year old huh? no 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 because if you remember how aging works the youngest thing that's in there is what oh. you have to list. So the youngest thing in here was the Brugladi 93. It was bottled in 2013. Gotcha. So, so there's your 20 year old. 20. If they were all from 89, then it would be like a 24 year old, okay. right? But so that's not the average, it's the, okay. Whatever's the youngest one is gotcha. what you have to list on your label, which is why a lot of companies are unfortunately doing away with no, age statements because they might have mostly 93 in there, yeah. right? So they're like, ah, it's a, now, well, at this point now, it's like 30 years old yeah, plus, right? But uh, they might just throw just a little bit of a three-year-old in there. And now it has to be a It's now a three-year-old. So they gotcha. rather than saying it's a three-year-old whiskey, they just don't even put an age statement on with some of the newer hmm. stuff. Well, I'm going to say it's kind of unfortunate on the nose. Mm -hmm. It seems to have uh, reduced the aroma to almost nothing. Brought out some of the alcohol on the, on the tongue. Oh, did it? But through the alcohol, as it shifts, strange to me, I don't know where it would be coming from in this mixture, but I got like a little bit of dark chocolate in the middle of the palate. Still getting the sherry, Ooh. got a little dark chocolate towards the middle, and then I went back to sherry again. Okay, I went sherry in the beginning, mm -hmm. and then it just kicked my ass with a whole bunch of alcohol. Which is strange for something at only 46%. Oh, Go back to it though, because I think that I on my second sip I didn't get hit with that alcohol. Ooh, that one punched me. I still get chocolate. I don't know where it's coming from in this mixture. Why I would be getting so much chocolate on the mid palate, but I'm getting dark chocolate at the mid. You? No. Just still the sherry and alcohol. Oh, yeah. Wow, that all comes. Right. That is. We do this all the time. That is just a wild trip. On the back end to get hit with that alcohol like that on the back end <laughs> wow no I think they're I think they're pretty close to each other Mike um I think we're just getting different tastes on our own palates because I get sherry like that fruity wine dark chocolate in the middle I didn't get the alcohol punch icon in yours and hmm. then okay you know it's kind of strange I think I might be leaning towards this. Really? With the water a little bit because of that dark chocolate in the middle. I Not enough to make like... it a huge jump, nope. but maybe like a seven now? Like it it broke the seven mark now? No, I'm, a, I'm going down to a little four. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's, let's do the 4.2. 4.2. Yeah, exit stage left for me. All right, Mike. Well, why don't we just go on to, uh, to yeah. the rocks? I'll That's leave mine to the side. I'm actually excited to see what happens after it rests for a few minutes. Hey, look at that. What is that? Want some nerding out, Mike? Of course. Oh. Always. Nerd! Of course. Always. Right? So, as I mentioned, this is the longest running independent bottler in Scotland. Well, from 1842 to 1972, it was under the ownership of the same original family. 
So it was okay. a family-run distillery all those years. Then it was finally sold to J&A Mitchell and Company, which is the company that en- ended up uh, owning Springbank. Remember yeah. how we were talking about how they do everything from grain to glass? Yeah. Well, they now own Caden Head. Yeah. Dusty now. Maybe maybe it's starting to show the age with the ice. What do you think? Yeah. There it is. It does taste older now. I'm not going to say more pleasant. No? But it tastes older. I'm going back in for a second sip, but I was actually impressed. Which, for scotch, that never happens. Bourbon, yes. Scotch, usually not so much. I don't know. It gives me a little bit of a, a honey sensation in the beginning. And then it's it, thin. Yeah, and then, it, and then it rolls right back into that alcohol again. It rolls right back into that, that burn. I'm not getting any alcohol. Um, oh, no. Ooh. I can see some people enjoying it this way. Yeah? Maybe not so much me. Um, I could see some of the pleasant things trying to shine through. It is a little on the lighter, fruity side. Um, it doesn't. I, like you're saying, you got alcohol burn. I didn't get any yeah, I with did. it. I think that if this finished... Or the mouthfeel is a little thicker. I would probably enjoy it this way. I'm going to sip again. What do you yeah, got I'm on not, I'm not real impressed with this. Um, I think it is better than the drops of water. Um, I think I will score it, and I think I'll put it at a five. Okay. Um, right back up to the five range. Uh, it does bring out some age. It does bring out some maturity into it. Um, I'm not an expert on 20-year whiskey. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> so I, I'm going by, I guess, preconceived notions at this point. And I'm going to say it's a little bit simple from what I would expect from a 20-year. Right. The ice helped a bit. How much are we talking for this bottle? Uh, when I was doing research for the whiskey, I found only two places that still had it for sale. And wow. both of them were selling it for $100. So there was K&L and one location of total wine still had it that's tough because that's that's a good price for 20 year whiskey it's a great that's price. a really good i price. was shocked when i seen that price i guess i mean uh, if you enjoy it i guess go dig them up and try and find them and buy them but if you're if you are yeah. a huge fan of sherry then for a hundred bucks you gotta give it a shot if you're on the fence about sherry it's probably uh, it's probably away. not one that you yeah, would want to go away. towards right now because this is by far the heavily most heavily sherry thing I've had. I I'm still gotta give my score on this. I'm giving it a fair shake. It's a six okay. on ice. So I prefer it with just that one little drop of water. Um, but I don't find any of them bad in any way, which is a plus for us when we talk about scotch yeah, it, on ice. So I, my, my biggest fault with the thing is um, is that alcohol on the back end of your taste. Um, other than that, I just think it's a little bit immature tasting for the age it's saying it is. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I'd ever suggest anyone buying it. I don't know if I could. I don't know if it's worth it. Well, that's why I'm saying if you're a Sherry fan, then yeah, you're okay. going to love this. All right. If you've never had Sherry yet, I wouldn't. I would not say this is the first one to go to, mm-hmm. but if you're a Sherry fan, there's no way you're not gonna like this. That's all I'm saying. All right. Well. Um, and after letting it sit around a while in the glass, I feel the alcohol burn went away. Ooh. That smells he, so good. So let's see. Let's see what he thinks. Go you, for it. Did you smell it? Here, smell mine. This one's super sweet. Yeah. Same. Oh my god. So let's see. Oh, this Does is he like water, it too. with? Because I've been noticing now, letting it sit around for a little while sometimes brings out some nice sweet notes. Nope. It's sweet on the beginning. Oh, man. Man, this is like um, this is like when you start dating. And it's all sweet in the beginning. And then you put the ring on it. And then you just get alcohol burned. <laughs> We won't go there. <coughs> All right, I'm actually, I'm, I'm still saying this is probably my preferred way, is with a drop of water. All right, when you let it sit around a little bit longer, it, it actually pulls out more sherry. 
he's saying he gets burn. I don't get any burn with the uh, the water. All right. But either way, we still gotta thank the man again. So I... thank you, Richie, for a fantastic gift. It's a great experience. I enjoyed it. All right, we're done. No, out, no outro today. We're just gonna stare at you. Staring at you, staring at us. Now it's creepy, Dave. Don't stare at me. <laughs>